Hello everyone. Another RPG type of system and features that I added in RPG Builder is uh, loot, you know, models or objects in the world. So as you can see now, I'm going to kill this wolf and we have those two uh, axes, you know, so they're actual models dropping in the world and being on the floor. So, um, and as you can see, they also have loot labels. So we see the name and we see the quality. So the color is based on the quality and we can hover them and see exactly what they do for us. So before we even, you know, pick them up, we can see if this item is interesting for us or not based on the stats. And we can just take a quick look at stats change if equipped at the bottom left of the tooltip. And this will let you know if it's something good for you or not. And if I click on them, we will get them just like any other items. And we can, of course, um, equip them. So we can just, you know, just like any other items. So it's very nice. I'm going to now show you how this is set up in RPG Builder in the editor. So we can take a look at the basic axe here, which is one of the two items that drop. And you see here we have a new uh, section in the um, items modules, which is called loot settings. If drop in world is off, it is going to use the older system or, you know, rather the normal loot system and the item is going to be put inside a loot bag with every other items which share the same settings. But if you tick this on, you see that we have two other options. So the first one is the in-world model. So what is going to represent this item in the world? In this case, you see that I'm using the exact same prefab for both the weapon itself on our character and in the world. So it's sharing the exact same model. But you can use any model you want, any prefab you want for any item. Also, quick tip, if you do not want the model to actually be visible in the world, uh, but still um, have the item drop, so for example, for some golds or whatever, you can just drag and drop here a, um, a prefab, but of an empty game object. So you can just literally create an empty game object, make it a prefab, drag and drop it here. And it's still going to drop in the world and have the label. So for example, if you do this with gold, it's still going to be written gold. Uh, the UI thing, you can still hover it, you can still click on it and loot it, but it is not going to have an actual model. So this is pretty cool. And the last setting is of course duration. So how long those items should stay on the ground? This is very up to you. You can just choose a few seconds, minutes, whatever. In this case, it was one minute. So it means that after one minute, this item is going to be destroyed and you're never going to be able to loot it again. So that's pretty much all I wanted to share for this video. I want to keep this one um, short. Thank you for watching and see you in the future video.